Hi, welcome back to my channel, Teacher Nurani Khan. So today we continue Chapter 5 Waves on Topic 5.5 .5, Diffraction of Waves. So you can see here at the C. Okay, there's a gap produced due to there are two uh, rock, big rock here. So what happened to the wave when passed through the gap here? Okay, so the this uh, phenomenon where the water wave spread out eh, when passed through a gap like this, we call it diffraction of waves. Now we look at what is the definition for diffraction of waves. So diffraction of waves actually is the spreading of waves when the wave propagate through a slit or side of a barrier, a slit or a gap, eh? or round an obstacle or barrier. Okay, so the spreading of wave we call it diffraction. So diffracted wave patterns that produce actually depends on the width of the aperture of the size of an obstacle, meaning the size of gap and size of obstacle. And the second factor is wavelength. So for diffracted wave pattern, whether the diffraction occur obviously or not, it depends on width of the aperture of the size or the size of an obstacle or the wavelength. Okay. Now look at the characteristic of the wave. Wavelength, frequency, speed, amplitude and direction. Okay. In the case of diffraction, what happened to the wavelength? No change explanation because wave speed does not change for the diffraction case we make it the depth of water constant so the speed always constant okay. frequency we also make it constant because no change in the source of frequency we use the same source huh, throughout the activity now look at the speed also no change because no change in medium before and after diffraction Okay, amplitude decrease. Why decrease? Due to the spreading of wave, wave energy also spread out. Okay, or diverges to a wider region. Causes the amplitude eh, at certain point eh, in that region becomes smaller. Direction of propagation from one direction to many directions. So we can see the wave front spreads. Okay. Okay, look at this one. You can see the diagram here. This is the wave uh, that passed through a small gap. So the shape of the wave front that coming out or spread out is curve. And this one for wider gap. So it's more plane. Okay, okay the wave front eh, is more plane. So if we compare these two diagrams, so we can say that if the uh, if the water wave that pass through the small gap become curved, the curved one will be spread more eh, compared to the plain, uh, plain one. Okay, so all we can say the effect of diffraction is more obvious for smaller gap eh, compared to wider gap. Okay, so this is the pa the pattern of wave that observe eh, on the screen of ripple time. So just now we discussed about the characteristic of the speed, frequency and wavelength of diffracted wave remains unchanged. The shape of diffracted wave is curved or circular. Direction of propagation of wave changes in the direction of diffracted wave which is perpendicular to diffracted waves. So if we refer to this one, this diagram, so the gap eh, is smaller. So the wave that spread out is circular shape or curved shape. Okay. Okay. Now, you must be able to draw patterns of diffracted wave. Let's say for the first situation, we use a different size of slit or gap. Okay. We make it the wavelength constant. Okay. So for the first one here, wider gap or wide slit, eh? wider gap. So what happened to the wave front? So you can see when the the size of the lambda, this is a wavelength, eh? distance between two wave front, eh? lambda, is smaller as compared to the size of gap. So what happened to the wave? The wave front that produced or spread out here is more plain, less curved. 
it just curve a bit at the edges. So meaning effect of diffraction, we call it less obvious. Or we can say the spreading of wave is less significant. So we can say from here, waves less spread. The wave front is plain. So effect of diffraction is less obvious. Okay. Now we look at the narrow gap or narrow slit. Wavelength is constant. If you look at the size of the wavelength and the size of gap is about the same or maybe smaller than the size of gap. So what happened to the wave that spread out here? The wave front becomes circular. Or we can say the wave spread more. The wave front is curved. So effect of diffraction is more obvious. Or we can say spreading of waves is more significant. So when we discuss about the effect of diffracted wave normally we just mention whether it is less obvious or more obvious or significant or less significant so from this uh, diagram we can conclude that the smaller the size of gap or obstacle the more obvious or significant the effect of diffraction but in this case we make it lambda constant okay no change in wavelength okay next now we change the wavelength, but we make it the size of gap constant for both cases. So look at here. If you compare the wavelength of the wave and the size of gap, the wavelength is smaller than the size of gap. So in this case, so you can see here, diffraction eh, of the wave causes the wave front become plane. Or we can say waves less spread. So effect of diffraction is less obvious. Okay? And then the second one. Use long wavelength for fixed size of gap. Same size of gap. So if you, if you compare the size of the wavelength and the size of gap is about the same or maybe more. So you can see the wave front will, be, will become curved. Okay, so when it becomes curved, meaning the wave spread more. So in this case, we can say effect of diffraction is more obvious or the spreading of waves is more significant. Okay, so from this two diagram, we can conclude that the longer the wavelength, the more obvious or significant the effect of diffraction. Okay, so just now we have discussed two factors that affect effect of diffraction. Okay. okay, look at this diagram. So this one also shows what happened eh, when, the, when the water wave passed through a gap and an obstacle. So if you look at the size of gap here and compare to the lambda, if lambda is less or equals to the, if lambda if more or equals to size of gap, the effect of diffraction is obvious. So you can see the wave front that spread out here, curve shape. Okay. And now if you compare the lambda is less than the size of gap. So the, the wave that spread out is plain. Plain just curve a bit at the edges, meaning less spread. Okay. So for the wave that spread out, the amplitude of the wave becomes smaller because the wave when spread out it spread out the energy to larger area so amplitude decreases if you look at the obstacle here same thing as the gap for a smaller obstacle we also compare the size of the wavelength and size of the obstacle okay if the size of the wavelength or the length eh, of the wavelength is more or equal, okay, more or equal to the size of obstacle. So you can see the wave will be spread more. Okay, so the shape is plain. I think there's uh, something a bit uh, wrong here. 
Okay, so we can just draw something like this. Just curve a bit at the edges. Huh? You don't join huh, this part. So it will produce a, a smaller region huh, where no wave transfer. So this one we call it a shadow, this part. Okay. So when lambda is equals to size of gap or more than size of gap, so you can see it produce small shadow. So when small shadow, we can say the wave spread more. So the effect of uh, effect of diffraction is more obvious huh, for this case. Okay. Now we use a very long huh, obstacle. So if you compare lambda and size of the obstacle, lambda is very small huh, compared to the uh, obstacle. So what happened to the wave? With the wave spread out at the edge only. Okay, the shape is still plain and it produces larger shadow. The shadow is the place where no wave spread out. Okay, so in this case, larger shadow. So when larger shadow, we can say wave less spread or the effect of diffraction is less obvious. Okay, so you must understand eh, the effect of the width of aperture and obstacle eh, towards the effect of diffraction. If you want to increase the effect of diffraction so that it becomes more obvious, use smaller gap and increase the wavelength eh, of the water wave. Okay. So when we talk about light wave, light wave also experience diffraction. For example, maybe you have discussed in lower form, if you look through a very small hole, we call it pinhole. So for pinhole, the size of the hole is very small. You just use a, a needle or a pin eh, to poke one hole. It's very small. So you look through the hole, what you can see, you can see the shape. Okay, the ring shape at the center is the bright spot. So you can see after that, there's a dark ring and bright ring. Okay, so this one shows that the light wave also spread out. Okay, and amplitude decreasing, decreasing when away from the center here. Okay, so this one shows light wave diffraction. Okay. Okay, now the pattern of light when we use a very narrow slit, moderate slit or wide slit. For light wave, it has a very short wavelength. So in order to produce effect of diffraction, which is more obvious, we need to use a very small gap or we can say narrow slit. So for narrow slit, you can observe the pattern become like this, showing that the effect of diffraction is more obvious. For moderate, there is a spread out but less spread eh, compared to this one, moderate. For white slit, we can see it's no spread at all or just see one uh, single bright band eh, at the center here. No spreading out for white slit. Okay, so this one is the pattern form when we use uh, a two razor blade, we place it very close, just produce a very, very thin uh, gap and then we use a laser pen green color and then let the let it let the green color from the laser pen pass through the gap so we observe on the white paper this is the pattern that produce meaning there is a diffraction of light wave so diffraction of light increases when size of small hole decreases diffraction effect is more no, most noticeable when size of slit equals the wavelength so when we talk about wavelength of line it is a very small value about 10 to the power negative 7 meter so that's the reason why light not easily diffracted because of its short wavelength okay this is a sound wave sound wave also experience diffraction you observe the situation. The street cleaner can hear the sound of the radio even though it is behind an obstacle, behind the corner here. But she uh, still can hear the sound. Because sound wave diffract, okay, it able to round an obstacle, round the corner and reach the person here. Okay, so the explanation, the sound of the radio spreads around the corner of the wall due to diffraction of sound wave. If you look at here, this is uh, the person is talking eh, at the door towards the room. So when he just, uh, she just talked there, 
uh, say something there but the person in the room can hear her voice meaning the sound easily diffracted even pass through a very large gap because sound has a very long wavelength it can reach up to 10 to the power 7 reach up to 17 meters okay so it's very long wavelength so sound can easily diffract it as compared to light wave diffraction of waves in daily lives okay you look at some example for water wave you can see diffraction of water wave produces calm water region suitable for docking of ships and water recreational activities so we can uh, embankment barrier we can make huh, or build huh, embankment barrier so that it will produce a gap here so and there's a gap when the uh, water wave spread out, it will spread out to a larger area, thus reduce the amplitude of wave in this area. So it becomes calm water region. Okay. Another one for light wave, holograms eh, produced by effects of diffraction of light are used as safety features on bank cards eh, such as debit cards and credit cards. You can get uh, the bird there. Okay, they want the in form of hologram. So this one produced by diffraction of light. Sound wave that produced by a herd of elephants, because we know that elephant always travel in a large herd. Okay, what happened if one of the elephant separated uh, from the herd, and then the one of it will produce like a very uh, sound uh, that we call it infrasonic wave, a low frequency wave. So the one will have a longer wavelength. So the sound produced. Okay, uh, can be diffracted easily so can reach the missing elephant okay so infrasonic wave produced by elephant have long wavelength to facilitate long distance communication between elephants okay so these are the example of diffraction of waves so we can discuss about water wave light wave and sound wave so you can search more in the internet eh, about this one it's very interesting okay that's all for this topic okay hopefully you can uh, understand all the concept Okay, you can leave comment if anything that you want to, uh, you want to know more about this video. Okay, that's all. Bye.